another wonderful piece was given to us by one of the most greatest animator, filmmaker, and manga artist, Makoto Shinkai. Known for his 2016 movie, Kimi no Nawa, or Your Name. His new movie is called Weathering With You. It's a movie about a boy who ran away from home and went to Tokyo, meeting a beautiful girl that has a power to control the weather. Tokyo is in bad weather, raining almost all day for a month. The first scene started with a girl named Hina Amano. She was at the hospital with her mother currently confined. She wants her mother to see a good weather, praying to God to give them a good weather. As she looked on the window of the hospital, a ray of light is pointing on the top of an abandoned building. With hope that God has fulfilled the prayers of Hina, she rushed directly on the abandoned building. While praying, she passed by an ark on the top of the abandoned building and with amazement, her prayers were heard. The next scene flashes on the runaway boy named Hodaka Morishima. He was currently on a ferry heading toward Tokyo. The alarm on the ferry rang with alert saying stay inside the ship because a storm is coming. Hodaka didn't listen on the warning and stayed outside the ferry. Suddenly, the rain pours and slowly rages. A pool of water built up above the ship. Hodaka noticed it. And as he looked upward, it poured down on the ferry. The impact made the ferry almost sink. Hodaka also was struck and almost knocked out on the ship. He was lucky that his hand was held by another passenger, Keisuke Suga. He was a writer. Hodaka paid Keisuke by buying him food and drinks on the ferry. As the ferry arrived on Tokyo, Keisuke and Hodaka part ways. Keisuke gave Hodaka a calling card in case he needs help. Hodaka stayed on a small inn to spend the night while seeking job on the internet. Sadly for Hodaka, he was unable to seek a job. His money slowly depletes until it ran out. He was in a fast food restaurant. Feeling down, a crew of the resto gave him a burger. He was shocked by it. The only word uttered in his mouth, it's the most delicious food I've ever tasted here. Hodaka now has no money left. He felt asleep in front of a door of a hotel. He was awakened by a man with two ladies. As Hodaka stand up, the man tripped him and he fell down. The trash can and the trash inside it scattered on the road. Hodaka immediately picked up the scattered trash. As he picked it up one by one, he found a gun wrapped around a paper bag. He quickly rushes away and hides in a dumpster place. There, a cat came near him, begging for food. He fed it with food. Hodaka named the cat Ame. As he walked down the streets again, he stumbled again on the man that tripped him. He was with another man and a girl. It's clearly obvious what the man will do with the girl. Hodaka realized that the girl is the one who gave him food at the fast food resto. 
without any hesitations, he rushed on the tree and tried to help the girl. He was beaten down by the men. Hodaka realized he has a gun. Hodaka pulled it out and pointed it on the man who pinned him down. The man laughed at him, saying it's only a toy gun. The man was shocked when Hodaka pulled the trigger, missing the man and breaking the light on the street. Hodaka and the girl ran as fast as they could away from the two men. They hide on the abandoned building mentioned earlier. The girl was Hina. She was angry at Hodaka because he almost killed a man pointing a gun without hesitation. Hodaka went on the man who helped him on the ferry. Pressing the doorbell of the house for a couple of times, no one is answering. He slowly get inside the house. Inside, he stumbled on the sleeping woman. She was Natsumi, a college girl. Hodaka thought that she was the mistress of Keisuke, but later cleared that she was the niece of Keisuke. Hodaka was hired in the company of Keisuke. It's a magazine company. They focus on research of the sunshine girl who can stop the rain and make the sunshine. Hodaka went on the house of Hina and there they built a website saying to people to pay them money in exchange of stopping the rain. The brother of Hina, Nagi, was pulled on the scam they are cooking. Hodaka made a costume resembling the Tero Tero Bozu, a doll-like figure that is said to stop rain. Hodaka also made an umbrella with many Tero Tero Bozu around it. The rain is continuously pouring. Their first customer was baffled on what they are doing. As Nagi with Tero Tero Bozu slowly runs around Hina and Kodaka dancing with the umbrella with Tero Tero Bozu, Hina silently prayed with her hands holding each other. The sky cleared. Their first customer paid them, still confused, thinking that it's only coincidence. They continuously gathered customer until they stumbled on one of the other famous character of Makoto Shinkai movie, Kimi no Nawa. It was Taki. Taki was with his grandmother. The skies cleared with the help of power of Hina. They had a little talk with Taki and her grandmother. On the other hand, Keisuke and Natsumi went on a place where a legend was told in them. Based on the, this, there was a sunshine girl that has the power to stop rain. To completely stop the rain, they need to sacrifice the sunshine girl. The 18th birthday of Hina is coming. Nagi gave Kodaka an advice to buy Hina a ring for a gift. Hodaka buy the ring on the department store. As the screen pans on the seller of the ring, a very familiar character flashes. She was Mitsuha, another main character on the hit Kimi no Nawa by Makoto Shinkai. Hodaka, Nagi, and Hina has another customer. Hodaka realized that the customer was Keisuke with his daughter. His daughter has an asthma and due to bad weather for a month, it is slowly getting worse. With the power of Hina, she made the sunshine appear. Natsumi also went on the park and talked to Hina about her powers and the sacrifice needed to stop the rain. As they go home, Nagi was invited by Keisuke's daughter, Hina, and Kodaka went home together. Kodaka is still mastering strength to give the gift to Hina, and as they both about to say something to each other, a gust of wind blew Hina. Hina was blown 
away, knocking her jacket out. They were both shocked by what happened. The police is now aiming to capture Hodaka because of what they saw on the video footage of him having a gun and he's also a minor. Two police knocked on Hina's room asking her if she saw Hodaka. Hina was also questioned about her age and asking her for her ID. Keisuke was also questioned by the police. Scared of losing the custody of his daughter, he advised Hodaka to go home to his family and gave him money. The rain is becoming worse and worse. Fearing to be captured, Nagi, Hodaka, and Hina go together and decided to live together, with Hodaka providing the money in the future. Due to bad weather, they asked for hotel and inns. Failing to find one, the three of them stumbled on two police. The police asked them, how old are they? Hina said she was 18 years old. And she said also that they were going to go home. The police asked for her ID, but she didn't give any. Hodaka was detected by the police, and he ran, saying to Hina and Nagi to run too. Hodaka was pinned down by the police, and Hina helped him, prayed, and a lightning bolt struck a truck. The police rushed on the truck to help people around it. Hina, Hodaka, and Nagi was able to find the hotel for temporary stay for the night. They have fun on the night. As the night deepens, Hodaka gave his Hina his gift. Hina was so happy, happy. But Hina told him something. Hodaka saw that she is slowly disappearing as she prayed to the rain to stop. Kodaka put the ring on Hina's fingers. Hina asked Kodaka, Do you want to stop the rain? Kodaka answered yes. As they sleep, Hina disappeared and went on a place in the sky. With the weather clears and the sky is in good condition, Hodaka awakens. He tried to find Hina. Nagi wake up saying he had a dream. Hina was going to the sky. The police was on the door and they captured both Nagi and Hodaka. Hodaka tried to escape the police and he was helped by Natsumi. Hodaka rushed on the temple above the abandoned building. He ran on the rail of the train. When he was in the building, Keisuke was there. He talked to Hodaka. He tried to convince Hodaka to go home. But Hodaka refuses and he said to help him find him. The police arrived and tried to capture Hodaka but failed because of the help of Nagi and Keisuke. Finally, at the top of the building, he was able to go to the place where Hina was. He was successful on the escape of Hina. The saving of Hina comes with a price. Hina will no longer be the sunshine girl anymore. And the bad weather will become worse and worse. Three years have passed, Hodaka graduated. He went back to Tokyo to find Hina.